Hello, everybody. Andrea here with Dental L. So what people commonly say about the quality assurance exam after they've taken it is, oh, my God, what the heck was that? That was like lawyer speak. That was a tough exam. I didn't even understand the questions. That's what people say. So I feel a lot of dental hygienists find the quality or feel that the quality assurance exam will be really easy because it's not the same as the board exam but it's still a hard exam. You do still have to study for it. If you need help, I do offer a full quality assurance prep course for you. That's fully online. You go through the prep course, go through the modules, take the quizzes, take the exams. It's a good practice for what the exam actually looks like. So it's not as easy as you might think. The CDHO does suggest studying for 75 hours for the exam. That's just what they suggest. I think because if you were to submit your profile, um, your portfolio instead, they you need 75 hours of continuing education over three years. So I kind of feel like that's why they say 75 hours of studying. The prep course I offer, I don't know if it's 75 hours. It really depends on how quick or how slow you study. But of course, if you were audited this year, you just have a couple more days to study before you need to take that exam or submit your portfolio. But even if you take the quality assurance exam, you still need your practice profile. So make sure to get that done as well. I do have videos on YouTube explaining how to do that. Um, if you need help, and I do offer full practice profile reviews as well. So I'll leave a couple links for you guys on the bottom. If you are submitting your portfolio, I do offer portfolio reviews on that too. So I'll leave a couple links for you guys. Good luck, try not to be too stressed, but definitely study for that exam if you're going to take it. It's not as easy as you might think. So good luck, happy studying, and I'll talk to you guys very soon.